Five, four, do it. three, two, two. Do it. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Arlie, and I'm here with another video. And today we're gonna be talking about a guy named Matt. Matt Matt is what it is, whatever his name is. Uh, Matt Watson, who created a, a 20 to 30 minute expose on how YouTube is facilitating uh, child pornography and pedophilia on the platform due to a glitch in the algorithm. I think it's very noble of him to make this video. Don't get me wrong. I don't think uh, him making a video is necessarily a bad thing. And it shows exploits in a loophole in YouTube's algorithm when it comes to uh, managing suggested content. And it doesn't randomize the content enough to where the, these forms of communication can't be um, available at their fingertips. I get it. But here is the problem. Matt is a pedophile too. He has questionable content that he privated on purpose before he became the hero of YouTube. The YouTube wake up movement. But he's guilty himself for the same crimes that he's putting out there. He's the one that was doing the crime back then. He has old videos of him talking to 14 year old girls. I think that if he's gonna take down this whole pedophile community, which rightfully so, I'm glad he did, he should go out the door with them. He's just as guilty as these guys are. As far as I'm concerned, from his old content, he was going around, He's he looks like a 30 year old man going around asking, 14, 13 year olds, I guess maybe they could be 18 plus, who cares? He's still asking really young girls, hey, you wanna make an adult film? And then he turns around and a few years later when that channel failed, makes this video for this channel, gets a lot of media attention for quote unquote being a hero that show that there's pedophiles all over YouTube. So what? There's pedophiles all over YouTube. There, there's pedophiles all over the internet. This has been a problem since the beginning. It's not something they can just fix, you know, like it's an ongoing battle. They have policies in place, community guidelines. They have ways of policing content. This is an ongoing battle and I'm sure they uh, alert authority, uh, law, for uh, uh, law for authorities every time something like this happens. Like they have a system in place to take care of this problem. It's like the city of Nashville or the city of Manhattan or you know a huge state like they can't shut down the whole city just because there's a few murders or a few bad people okay they have they send the police there it gets investigated they look into it they take care of it it's the same thing with youtube you think of youtube as a city or a state or even a country or multiple countries and they just send the police when something's flagged and reported that's the only way youtube can combat this with 400 hours of video uploaded every minute to this popular ass website. Come on people, come on advertisers, don't be stupid, don't fall for this again. Come on, you guys kinda need YouTube in a way. It's hip with the young folks, old people watch it, a lot of people who were on TV don't really watch TV anymore because the prices for cable is so fucking high. I don't understand why anyone pays for it. Why do advertisers feel like, oh, I need to pull out every time there's a fucking controversy on YouTube? These problems have been acted upon and acting upon for years. This is not This is just kind of stupid in my opinion for advertisers to pull out, especially Fortnite. Fortnite, the platform that pretty much kind of made you popular plus Twitch, you're gonna pull out, really? When there's already, the, I'm sure you've gotta know you're a huge corporation that runs ads at a massive scale on this platform. I'm sure you've talked and reached out to uh, YouTube spokespersons, even Su uh, Susan Rojiski, and they probably already told you there's safe uh, harbors in place on the website. But hey, <laughs> you listen to one idiot and he's got the whole world in flames. Okay. Okay, enough. I mean, I just think, I just think that the fact that an apocalypse too is literally about to happen because of this creepy fuck. Hold on, so it's texting me. Because of this creepy fuck that 
I mean, it can ruin the livelihoods of a lot of content creators. Now, me, I still work jobs. I still, you know, work outside of doing YouTube. But, you know, one day I'm, I want to do this full time or not even like, I guess, as a career. It's just something I do, but I make money off of it. But I can't I don't care about the money as much because I'm not. You know, I don't rely on it, but I'm saying for people who do, think about the livelihoods you're ruining. You could have just took your video and then send it to YouTube, and then they could have, you know, like made sure it was p fixed and put together, and they could have policed that content. You could have flagged it. You could have had all the people who watch your video flag that content so YouTube can, you know, police it, do something about it. No, you forced YouTube's hand. You force them into basically having to react as quickly as possible because you want to tag advertisers so you're asking your famous for your little 15 minutes of fame because I'm going to tell you right now, every creator is going to fucking hate you after this. No one's going to respect you. Instead of going to the people who give us the ability to upload content for free and monetize it so they can solve the problem before it becomes a big deal, you have to go out of your way to get attention and tag advertisers and then went out of your way to also say fuck what we make fuck content creators fuck oh you make money off this go get a real job that's what you said that that's fucked up to me in my opinion i think you're doing this because you were a failed youtuber or you didn't have a chance or you didn't get the time of day on this platform which if you work hard enough eventually the glass is gonna crack someone's gonna discover you but hey, you decided, hey, fuck that. I'm just gonna ruin this platform for everybody. I want everybody to suffer my pain. I want everybody to suffer my pain. I want everybody to fall. I want this whole platform to fall. You even said it yourself in one of your videos. If YouTube has to lose millions of dollars to learn, this is how this is how it should be. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. You wouldn't get any quality content of you if content creators weren't at least incentivized. I feel like payment or reimbursement is a way of being incentivized. This is a way for people to make more money that they otherwise wouldn't have. This is an opportunity that millennials and Gen Xers have, you know, versus people who are older back then didn't have this opportunity. This is a great opportunity for people who just want to make content and get out there and make money off of it. But you, for people who are attention-seeking assholes, who don't care nothing about internet culture, I, I'm sorry I'm just going on a tangent and a rant, but this guy is not part of the community. I hope an advertiser sees this. Matter of fact, you should tag this to advertisers. And I'm sure there's advertisers out there that understand how YouTube works. And usually they're the youngest business owners they understand. I've talked to a few of them that advertise on videos. They understand how YouTube works. Just because you see a fucking Coca-Cola ad on a video where pedophiles are talking to each other in the comment section doesn't mean that that ad has something to do with pedophiles. It's just... It's just an automated system that, you know, automatically places ads on content where, you know, videos are opt-in to monetize. That's, the problem is, I understand YouTube is working on it hard. Like, like, these videos aren't even bad videos. Like, these are just girls probably with their parents that uploaded their gymnastics practice or something. And then you just have these pedophiles looking at these compromising positions they're in and time stamping them and talking about it and communicating and maybe trying to lure that person uh, who uploaded the video or the girl in the video trying to lure them. That doesn't mean the person themselves are a perpetrator on the website. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Like this, this is really just a problem. This is basically just a like individual user problem like this is a problem where you just have scum in the earth just going on these videos these aren't even compromising videos like I said these are not sexually like provocative videos these are just little girls probably posting their soccer practice or their gymnastic practice or their exercise practice whatever the fuck it is and you just have these nasty probably older men going on here and communicating and talking about it and a time stamp it, like I said. So hopefully advertisers are seeing this 
and work with YouTube to just take ads off that that particular content and demonetize that content, but not at the expense of like hurting every other content creator on the fucking website. That's dumb. It's like two murderers being in a city and you punish everybody because of two murderers. Two murderers and everybody else is innocent, but hey, we're gonna take them to jail too. We're gonna uh, punish them too. We're gonna take food out their mouths too. We're gonna put handcuffs on them too. Because, I mean, that's basically how YouTube's been. It's like, it's not really, they like when they're forced to react in a certain situation, they just, they react, they don't think about it. And I understand that because they're a huge company, they're losing money, advertisers, that's their bottom dollar, that's their bottom line. Hell, YouTube doesn't even know if this website is profitable yet. But it is a great tool for people to monetize content. And, um, and I understand it needs to be done the right way, in honest ways, with integrity. But right now, this is kind of like hurting people right now. This is hurting content creators. This type of shit right here, Matt, I can't respect you right now. I can't respect you. I can't even call you a YouTuber. Because if you're a YouTuber, you would understand. Trust me. Now, I understand, yes, this is your video. I respect you for your video, but hey, I question your character. I question who you are because of, you know, your past posts. You lied about your Twitter on Drama Alert, stuff like that. I think that you are just doing this. You're a fraud just so you can get some attention. I tasted that YouTube money and fame, okay? Now, I wonder if that video you posted was monetized. And if it was, hey, You know, um, sorry for the long rant, sorry for the long video. Um, I just want to get my voice out there and just, you know, get, the, get these thoughts out of my head. This is how I feel about this guy. This guy is a fucking fraud. This is not cool. You know me, I kind of quit YouTube. I wasn't posting as much. I had to come back out and post this just because I saw this shit. Like, it's, it's fucked up, man. It's fucked up. All right, go watch my other video on the situation. I got some more reaction videos coming soon. And...